I think you should be able to do that. So, uh, yeah, Ben's examining nothing is more exciting than fresh ideas. And uh, fresh ideas are, are, I guess, what pushes things forward in science, the spirit of uh, discovery, the uh, the spirit of exploration, which I could see so many of the, the very earliest aircraft uh, models hanging from um, your your ceiling. So, uh, Christian, that there's one particular voice uh, which, which you you would be uh, which you say is like the cornerstone to uh, the the little museum, and that's uh, the little prince. Uh, so, uh, the author Antoine de Saint Exupéry. Uh, sorry if I've mispronounced that, but this gra graphic novel you say is the cornerstone philosophical text that informs how you've constructed your little museum so yeah can i hand over to you now and can you tell us a little bit about yeah, sure sure the, 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 the little prince is really um uh, is a museum spirit you can find the little prince of the, of the spirit a bit everywhere here uh, at the same time i would say um, um i would love to have i always think like okay if the little prince is here what what is he going to say and um uh, so i will i just want to start from the beginning and start with um, uh, the author um, antoine de, de saint exupéry which is a french uh, author and uh, it's interesting to know that he was a pilot so when you when you read the little prince the story of a uh, you know a pilot you know uh, crashing his plane into the, the desert. Um, it's, it's his story. And he did crash once in the desert in, in, in the same way, except that he was with somebody uh, with the mechanics. But uh, so it's his story. Now, um, so at, at the little museum, we have like this, uh, this he, wa he was part of um, the Aeropostal, which is uh, a company that was delivering mail from um, so you go from uh, from from France uh, to Africa and, and South America. So so incredible uh, incredible uh, pilot at that time. Um, so the, the first thing is yeah he is a pilot. The second thing is uh, he wrote his stories when he was in New York um, in exile because uh, of the Second World War and uh, he escaped to uh, New York. And he's um, and he was so you know extremely sad to see uh, to see the, the the war unfolding in in in, in France and, and all over Europe. And his goal was to go back uh, and fight. So um, and then he wrote the the, the story in uh, 1942 and it was published in 1943. Uh, and and that was uh, so. It has been translated in uh, 300, uh, more than 300 languages. This one uh, at the museum, it's uh, in, uh, in Tinag, which is a, a language, one of the oldest language in the world. It's also the language of, uh, of, the, of the Tuareg people. Uh, Tuareg people are the, the people living in the, in the desert, uh, the Sahara desert. So the, the language is, uh, is very you know, uh, enigmatic for us. Uh, and, and interesting. So, um, so the the the, the second the, the 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 important things to know is that uh, also that uh, unfortunately the the author I mean uh, Antoine de Saint Exupéry um, died the, the year after he published uh, the Little Prince. He was a, a, a fighter pilot in, in the in France. Uh, he finally, because he was too old at the beginning, so finally he got, you know, fighting missions, and uh, he was killed during one of the missions over the Mediterranean Sea. And when you read the Little Prince, it adds also to the to the mystery. Now um, I show you uh, more things uh, on the on here, and why? Uh, to answer your question, why? Uh, is a uh, uh, little prince everywhere here? So this is one of the very important uh, uh, painting. It was a, a pen, uh, it's a it's a commission work from a gra we ask a graffiti artist in France. He is called the Blind. He's not blind, um, and he wrote. We we ask him to illustrate the, the the sentence. So the most, if you if you can read, is the most beautiful things in the world are felt with the heart. Uh, which is, you know, inspired by the little prince, and he wrote it 
at the same time he wrote it in uh, in braille which is uh, the the language i mean the you know the the language for the the how the the, the blind can read so um because the little prince is about also it's about equality and uh, and we have uh, we have this one and we ask a, a deaf uh, photographer uh, to to write you know to to, to take a picture and to illustrate the same sentence. And it's the same thing is, you no, know, is you feel things with, with your heart. Um, so why I say, I say that, because when I read that your, your TOK question, Ben, I was like, uh, okay, as, um, it's, a, it's a big question. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I just, you know, stop on something, I will stop. Um, if I just take one word, I will take slow. Uh, and, and why, you know, because slow is, is basically the problem in your question. And why is it slow? I would say because of um, the lack of simplicity. Uh, the Little Prince is, about, uh, is all about uh, simplicity. Uh, it's, uh, it's, um, it's when you are a child, you can read The Little Prince. Uh, when you retire, you can read, you can read the, the Little Prince. It's accessible to everyone. And at the same time, uh, you you have a, a different meaning uh, as you grow. You you find you find you find different meanings. But the the, the main thing is that childhood uh, is it's it's where you you are the most creative. Basically, it's it's a, it's as simple as, as that. And and the, the little prince will come to the museum and uh, and uh, and um, he will say. He, he, I will show him this, and he will say, "You see, this is a slave, slave, uh, slave bracelet here." So it, um, in the 19th century, and he will say, "Why, why, why do you enslave people?" Why, why, simple question, very simple. Then uh, you uh, will show him this, and uh, it's a it's a gas mask from the First World War, and he will ask, "But why do you poison people?" That's no, it's a child. It's what, what, why? And the same with uh, with the barbed wire here, concentration camp. You say why you keep, why you jail people, uh, innocent people. Why you jail them and, and then mine? Why you want it to 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 kill people? It's it's always it's, it's like this. And then you have this uh, um, this uh, life jacket, and they will say, but why you why you let people drowning in the sea? uh they, you know for talking about migrants you know and why you why you don't sell them why you don't take care of them and, and here we, we have you know the um this avatar but is also the chief you can see chef uh, chief rowney which is a, a real chief in the amazon uh forest and uh uh, and and he was say, but why you why, why do you cut your, your beautiful forest? You know, he was taking care of his rose, and, and you cut the, the you cut an entire forest. Why? And why you war? You see, this is a, this could be out of a Little Prince book. It's a, from an artist, a graffiti artist as well in Afghanistan, and 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 it's about war, and you know, and 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 the hope that the people in Afghanistan still have after the war, and and with you know with more with more problem they, they have now so um it's always you know always a question of 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 simple you know and uh, and basic and, and for me i mean i really believe that uh if you think uh, like a child uh it's easy it's, it's, things are, are so much easier why you why you bomb a child or why you why you want to kill a child is as a little prince who will, will tell you. But I don't want to only talk and um, have a few more things to show you. But Ben, do you have a specific question about your about your TOKSA? TOKSA. Yes, sir. Yeah. Ben's just going to come and join us here, so we can just use this microphone. Uh, we're getting other feedback otherwise in the room. So here's Ben. So, um, so Hello. Be, yeah. yeah, Ben, hi. Yeah, thanks for uh, agreeing to talk uh, with me today. That's, I appreciate that a lot. Um, so I guess one of the things that I did uh, want to ask would be about your perspective as a museum curator, because like as part of your job, you kind of like come into contact with a lot of 
different items and objects that have that people like assign value to and then they but then even though these things are a lot really like subjective and stuff so I guess I wanted to ask like what's your perspective on the role of beauty in the world I think because a lot of the time I feel that like people see it as being very superfluous or just like an aesthetic thing that just doesn't have importance. But then like they say a lot in in uh, The Little Prince, when he comes into contact with all these different adults on all the different planets where they're engrossed in like their jobs and the practicality of it all. What do you think the role I of think, beauty plays? Um, like, I basically, yeah. I created the, the museum with, uh, with the eyes of, uh, of a child. Mm. Really, yeah. I mean, it's uh, because I think it's important. Uh, it's not when you tell people, yeah, we, 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 we are here for the history. I mean, we are telling the history of the world. And they say, well, that's a, that's, that's a lot. Um, but what I wanted to do is to tell a simple story Mm. And and uh, and nothing complicated, uh, and it's uh, it's something which um, you you need to show uh, the beauty of the world, and at the same time what we do with that, and how we how we you know what we are. Uh, when you look, and I don't know if you you take a plane for instance. I, I love to be on the window side, and you look, you know, uh, below. And it's just, you know, it's amazing. You see, you know, the lands, you know, you, you go on top of, of different countries and, and it's, 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 uh, it's very, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, at the same time, that's remind me that also I wanted to say that, you know, as a pilot for uh, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, mm. uh, he will see the world in a different way. He will see the world um, uh, from above. Uh, he will, so he will... Is the same is the same thing is the same uh, and and we discussed this with Mr. Reese uh, last week is the same uh, as as astronauts when mm. astronauts are on the moon or when they are in the um, in the international space station um, they see the world as one they see they they don't see that you don't have borders you 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 just see the the world as one is beautiful blue planets uh, you see the ocean uh, so they, they see this and it's, uh, it's you can ask many astronauts and I discuss with with a few and and that's you know what they always tell you is so, look it's it's uh, it's uh, it's one uh, so uh, and and uh, and Saint Exupéry was like that I mean he will see the, the but at the same time he will, he, he will also see the stars. And we were still, you know, dreaming. And uh, the, the the funny thing sometimes with Saint Exupéry is that he will he will not uh, he will always uh, delay landing. So not always, but from time to time, he will always he will mm. delay landing. Uh, oh, to read a book, right? Home. Yeah. Because he had, because he was reading a book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I he read a book and he just said, "I haven't finished my chapter." I know, just like a, a kid. But he was a pilot, you know. Yeah. So that, uh, so so when we when we when we really work on the, on the museum, it was like uh, we wanted stories. Stories, of course, we have stories, you know, about the, the war. This is here the, the first world war, uh, and the second world war. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's really terrible. Uh, but there's also hope, a story of hope within the the the, the world. Uh, so you need to show both sides, uh, but always uh, need to 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 tell people that you can you know the, the, your world is beautiful, and uh, and 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 from the spirit of the little prince, uh, you need to still keep your it's what I call the child the, the child's heart, which is uh, your inner child, because now for for at your age you are you know between childhood and adulthood. And, uh, and, and if I have a very good advice for all of you is that you, you need to keep your childhood uh, in your heart and, and look at things, you know, uh, always also in, in, in a nice way, in a kind way. And, you know, like uh, uh, if you, it's, it's important to keep the, the, the heart. I think that is something, uh, if there's something probably, you know, when people tell me, but, you know, look, uh, Chris, you, you, you're really a child. And, and it's such a, it's such a, 
a, a nice, you know, I always take it like a, like a very nice compliment. And the, I'm very happy about it because that's probably what, uh, what I, I am. And, and it's what I, I want to, to people when they are here. Uh, they will be excited by different things or by everything, but they will, there's something that will touch their heart, you know, and, and you need to always uh, uh, be a child somehow. Uh, and you need to know to keep that kind, you know, to, like, uh, like Lady Gaga, you know, mm. she has a, a full foundation of kindness. And it's about, you know, and that's why she's in the museum because, you know, she, kindness is something she keep on repeating. If you if you go to uh, to uh, you know Imagine Dragons uh, concert and Dan Reynolds will tell you you know you are not alone you you know we are here you, we are we are we are you have kind people around you so that's always very important because as you grow you may f you may feel sometimes a little bit you know uh, uh, alone or you know or depressed. So just look, look around you, you know, it's like you are in the street and you see, you know, sometimes you, you have a bit of vegetation, a few, a bit of a few plants in the, on the pavement, you know, just out of just concrete. And then you just have those little plants. Most people will never, never look at them. They will never look at them, you know, uh, because you will step on them or you will. So, but if you look at those little plants, for me, I love to, you know, I'm in the street and I would, I would look at them like they are mini, you know, small forest, tiny forest, and tiny, uh, uh, nearly magic because you know you are you, you are in the in the city and you have these uh, these little things you know coming. Uh, so it's like the little prince rose. It's, uh, uh, there's something I'm here because there's something here which uh, probably summarizes uh, the the museum, the little museum of the world. And it's, you can read, it's, it's written, uh, remember not to forget. And this is by uh, uh, a man, who, uh, a Jewish man, who has uh, escaped, you know, the, he was saved from the, from, from the concentration camp because of the kindness of, uh, of uh, uh, Oscar Schindler. I don't know if you... If you know about this uh, Schindler list, the Schindler uh, list, the, yeah, the Schindler list is is a beautiful about you know kindness, you know, and and uh, and how someone who was you know in the system, it's like in the Little Prince, you know, you have uh, the businessman, and uh, the businessman can just you know keep on counting, you know, uh, money, and uh, he can you know keep on. Uh, Keep on counting the stars, uh, uh, and 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 you have the king, you know, the ruler who just, you know, uh, uh, in this case it will be uh, Hitler, you know, and then say you have to do this. This is my wish, and 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 here we have Oscar Schindler, which with a is a businessman. At the beginning, he didn't care because he was doing what he knows best. You know, he was just making money. Uh, but then he, he understood that well maybe I can save some some people and he saved a hundred of them. Uh, so when you have this guy, you know, who, who also he also inspired, you know, uh, uh, Steven Spielberg for the for the movie. Uh, he, he just you know say uh, remember not to forget and that's what probably we need to always remember and that's what we don't remember when you see how how, how many wars uh we have right, right yeah. now in the world and 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 you know unfolding and and uh, tomorrow there may be one somewhere else and uh this morning was you know uh, some problems in in west africa maybe tomorrow will be somewhere else so that's uh that's uh that's really what um the the way we we set up you know is uh the the museum is to show the beauty of the world you see that the the, the beauty of the of sperm whales uh, it's just incredible to spell well mm. with a with a baby, uh, uh, but uh, it's also to accept the difference. You see here, there's a um, there's a shell, but you can see the the, the diver is a yeah. you know, scuba diver with a shark with a great white shark, and the guy is in front. It's in a, it's it's a real it's a documentary uh, called Oceans, and uh, and he wrote that if you if you are if you approach people uh, with uh, with respect. And uh, and if you approach animals with respect, uh, most of the time it's fine. It's not always. <laughs> we not do it with a tiger or a lion, but uh, in in the, in the in the ocean, uh, that's something which is uh, which is very very interesting. 
and mm-hmm. and he's a, and this guy i mean is a is a is a good friend of mine and is just incredible because he will say that for for a shock but he will say the same for people if you are if you know if you if you have a neighbor try to understand your neighbor and and then you maybe you may be good friend so mm-hmm. that's uh, that's important yeah i'm interested in like how you classify things to be beautiful because like in this process of like picking things out to be a part of this museum like is it all based on your own perspective or do you like take other people's like input to or is it just like uh things come to you and you decide okay I'll keep this one maybe not this one and stuff like that like what's your process of determining what is so-called like, worthy to be beautiful and show it's true that it's true that it will be more it will be based on um, on on my feeling mm. that's uh, that's for sure uh, now i'm always also trying to um to be inspired by by uh, by people like um, and i discover more people you see like uh, here uh, for the slaves uh, corner uh, so on the left is a book you know written by uh, by a, a, a captain who was mm. uh, who was uh, in the in the slave trade uh, the picture is by so um, a man called Wendell Phillips and and he was against uh, he was for the abolition of, of 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 the trade and when I when I heard um, his story uh, I said yeah, I want him. You know, it's like I'm inviting, uh, you know, uh, these kind of people into the museum and say, yeah, uh, I want him because it, it showed that at some point, you know, everyone was like, yeah, you know, let's get more people to to work in the, in the cotton fields, and he was like, no, mm-hmm. it's, it's not it's not the right thing to do. So uh, it's a bit like this where. Um, I read stories and I say, yeah, this, uh, of course, at the beginning, I have, you know, the, the basics and I say, okay, I want this, I want you know, the space, I want, uh, uh, but I'm looking and keep keep on looking for people who are inspiring and not only for me, but who can inspire uh, everyone. And, uh, and there's a way I, I will function on this. Um, I met uh, recently a lady who was very, uh, active in the, in Afghanistan and she set up a shelter for for Afghan uh, women uh, and she, her talk was so inspiring and uh, and this is someone uh, I would love to you know to to do things with because here it's a, it's not only a museum uh, it's it's a, it's a springboard for action so if mm-hmm. i have only this and i do nothing else and i can hopefully inspire a few people but it's not. It's not. It's not uh, what I want. Uh, what I. I mean, is of course, it's something. It's part of what I want. But what uh, I would like even more is to have uh, action and and to 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 help projects in different part of the, in different part of the world for uh, humanitarian projects, uh, wildlife projects. We have uh, we have done. You know, in the last twenty years, we have a small NGO as well, and we we have many. And we and even we are small. I see we can we can really help things. Uh, at the same time, uh, also, you know, for, for uh, like the little prince castle, you know, where he, he, he spent his childhood, I um, mean, Saint-Exupéry spent his childhood in a castle in France. Uh, he was from a wealthy family. And, and, and it's, uh, it's something that I, I would love to help, you know, uh, in the restoration of this castle, because the castle has something to tell to people so it's more about action so the, the way we are, are we uh, curate i mean as a curator i will say on this collection it's 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 just you know what what's next and uh, it's uh, about uh, how what is, uh, this is a past how do we build the future and how we do we uh, how we do build peace and how do we take care of our, of our planet you know it's like the little prince the little prince uh, every 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 day he will take care of his rules and in 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 the in the author mind the rules is uh, is a nature so you take care of uh, it's not only the it's not only nature it's can it's, it's many things the rules is many things it can be nature it can be in his relationship uh, it's it's uh, many different things but you how do you take care of your planet and uh, how do you, you see here we have a, we have a pangolin pangolin scales 
and um, I oh. spent time, but uh, we, we got you know, the, the pangolin scales because I wanted to, to show and people to feel in their hands you know, what is it to that uh, uh, such an incredible animal has been killed and thousands have been killed. And, and, and in the end, uh, this is what's left. And uh, so it's always about, you know, um, uh, it's more about action. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I reply to your questions, but this is, uh, we kind of invited, you know, like uh, this book is signed by Nelson Mandela. Oh, wow. And, uh, and Nelson Mandela is the same, is is one of the pillars of the, of the museum. It's, you know, you have Nelson Mandela, you have, you know, uh, the Little Prince, uh, you have also... Uh, Jules Verne, which is a science oh, fiction yeah. author, but uh, just incredible, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, 20,000 leagues in the seas mm -hmm. and, you know, from the, from the earth to the moon. And this is more about, you know, adventure, but uh, interesting as well. Uh, Jane Goodall is someone, you know, who is, uh, who is also the, uh, in, um, incredible. And, uh, and, and I like, um, I, I would say I, I respect, but I'm I'm not keen on people who are extreme. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you see this uh, just uh, quickly. I mean, this lady in Afghanistan. I mean, she has been. Uh, you have some 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 younger ladies. She's maybe she's 75 now. You have younger ladies that wants to protest, and they have been to jail, and they are they are protesting, and they are you know they are strong. They are quite extreme. Uh, but they don't they don't reach anything and for this lady she's more you know uh, she's still talking to the authorities she's still you know it doesn't mean she's in love we you know with uh, with uh, with what they what they do but she's still open to, to discussion uh, and this is also very important uh, so it's all those uh, all those people here who you know who bring the they, they bring a difference in in the world uh, this is another guy, you know, uh, which was an ensign. Uh, he was a polar explorer, but at the same time, he set up, you know, um, the, um, what is now the United Nations. He's not a set up, but he was part of it, and he was in charge of the refugees. Uh, mm. And he set uh, and he created a passport. It's always the same: is that you have a problem, uh, what do you do? You do nothing. Or, or, and this is a bit your your question is that you you have uh, you, you have a, you have an idea, uh, but how do you do how do you move forward you know to with your idea because you have you know in the, in in between you have all the what the what is in the little prince you have the, the businessman you have the, the yeah. kings you have the lamp you know the the lamp uh, switcher or, so you you have all those people so yeah, like well, him. Is, uh... But with all those people who are like trapped and everything, or like you say, how a lot of like what needs to be done is for people to like, take action. But then, what do you think are the things that kind of hold people back? Because like, yeah, like the king, the businessman, or the lamplighter—they're all stuck on their little planets by themselves, or virtually by themselves, just doing the things that they want to do, and they're stuck from their own point of view. But then. What do you think are the things that like kind of hold people back from taking that step to fly to another planet to see through someone else's eyes or stuff like that? People will be held back by, by many different things. They be held back because you no, know, they are they are their daily life and they have no time because you you never have time. I mean, either you take mm. time, you take the time, you take time, but you don't have time. So if you don't take it, you won't you won't have it. So maybe they are. Maybe they are in their own, own bubble and they just don't want to you know to be uh, they, they, they don't they don't feel that they have to be a part of something else. Uh, they may be scared. They may be it's very different uh, different things. And I can't. It's something also uh, which is important is that you you can't blame people. If you blame people, right. it's not going to make things better. It's, yeah. not, uh, it's not going to. Uh, you see, there's one uh, one example here. Um, it's a uh, it's just a picture here, and it's uh, Jesse Owens. So Jesse Owens in the you know, 1936 is signed by Jesse Owens, and uh, 
and uh, in the 1936 Olympic Games, um, he won four gold medals in front of Had of Adolf Hitler. And uh, mm, I can tell yeah. you, Hitler was really pissed off and was really yes, you know, very like unhappy that. about yeah. it. They, he didn't blame Hitler. When they asked him, he said, yeah, Hitler, you know, uh, shook my, my, my hand, you know, uh, shook hand with, with him, you know, uh, not in front of everyone, but he came and see me, even Hitler would, would, would hate him, you know, and he was, he wanted to ban, you know, uh, every black people from, from, from more Olympic Games. But at the same time, he went and he said, it's not better in my country, because at that time in, in the United States, uh, it was, you know, segregation and, and, and a lot of racism around. Mm. Uh, so, so he didn't blame. And I said, we do, let's do better in our own country than we can blame. Of course, you know, it was 1936 and, and he didn't know what will uh, happen, uh, you know, in the, in the following years, which was really uh, just a, a nightmare. But um, you see, when you blame, just let's do things in our own garden, and, and then we blame. You know, uh, we we don't blame people. So that's uh, that's uh, like uh, like here. The I don't know if you watched the uh, in the movie Invictus, and um, where Nelson Mandela is, he, he has a hard time after he he left from jail. I mean, he was released from jail and he became president, but it was very difficult for him to. Uh, extremely difficult for him to to get the idea of reconciliation because people was more on the revenge you know uh, thinking and spirit so he said no and uh, and he was very clever because when he was in jail he learned africans you know the the basically the white the south african white people language he said i need to learn africans because when i'm released from jail um I want to, and he didn't know if he would be released one day, but he said, I will have to deal with these people. And uh, and when he got the Nobel Peace Prize, it was shared by the by the, by the the clerk, who was a, a former white president of South Africa. So it's always, you know, always a balance, you know, into uh, what you what you think and what you what you want to achieve. Mm. But uh, but action is uh, if if there is no action then it's it's no point. I mean it's uh, it's uh, it's you you need people who, and you need to that's why also you need to inspire people because sometimes you you have people that are scared that you know as I said and they they're not sure what they want to do but ultimately you know maybe they will. They will change just like uh, Oscar Schindler. Schindler was not at the beginning. Uh, he, he didn't want to do anything. He was just you know earning. He was you know doing his business. He was happy. And and I'm not sure. I'm not, I probably have to, to watch the movie again. But what you know what 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 really made a difference for him to, to change his mind? I'm not sure. But uh, there's sometimes you know you can you can just you know change your change your mind. And that's uh, that's the most, and sometimes you have people that will never change their mind. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the thing you see in Afghanistan. Uh, yesterday I was uh, revising a text, you know, about this, uh, about this, uh, this small corner, and about Afghanistan at the beginning. You know, I say, okay, you know, look, uh, the Taliban. We go here. I mean, at the museum, there's no politics and no religion, so I don't. It's something we just, you know, we keep this so far. They say we don't want to talk about this. Uh, it will make people even more, you know, apart. And, uh, so what we um, and uh, but the Taliban is it's not really politics. It's it's, it's very special. But uh, but I learned from this lady that if you know the, the first text I had was like you know you know the Taliban is the Taliban that. But I said okay, what if the Taliban read my text one day? You never know. And uh, I'm not scared. It doesn't matter for me. But uh, is it going to make things better? Or is it going to be, you know, uh, uh, to help something, or just to blame them and to or to say, okay, look, you know, maybe there will be, you know, there, there's ways to uh, include women in, in in the society and it yeah. will help, you know, Afghanistan, and, and that's probably a, a better way to, to 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 put it. Then you cannot be also, you know, sometimes people say, look, but you you are, you you are dreaming. Uh, it will, you know, it's 
said, no, if you don't have dreams, uh, and if you don't work for your dreams, and if you don't build up something uh, to achieve your dreams, then it's no, it's no, it's no, you have to try. It's not just dreaming, it's, uh, it's dreaming and building at the same time. So that's, uh, you know, we have a, we have a mascot uh, called Boopy here, which uh, I always say is, a, is the most important uh, people here. And uh, this is Boopy, so it's an orange sparrow. Eco detective Ibupi went to space. This is an original picture from the International Space Station. So Bupi did go to space at the end of 2021. And and uh, I really I want Bupi to be um this is, is uh, the flag, Bupi's flag. And uh, and this is all Bupi's action, you know, we did in the last 20 years. But Bupi's flag for me is it's uh, it's hope. And this hope and strength for for children all around the world. I hope that one day this flag will be everywhere, and uh, and that because you know we uh, as uh, you know because we 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 can have this flag everywhere, then the the, the message will, will come across. When Boopy was in the funny thing, also when Boopy was in the in the space station, um, this picture was printed in in the space station and signed by the by the the commander. There is no war, and this is exactly at that time that you know the um, uh, Ukraine and Russia went in, went to war. So mm -hmm. at the same time, you have people uh, in space uh, in the ISS where it's peaceful. You, you have Americans, you have you know different nationalities, you have Russians, and it's and they they have full respect. You know, they respect each other. Chris, yeah, so, Christian, I. We, we have less than 30 seconds of our allotted Zoom time. I just want to close by saying thank you very much indeed for bringing all of these knowledge issues alive. And uh, uh, it's fantastic. Thank you very much indeed for your time. And the Little Museum of the World is a fantastic place. So it's I, really, I, really cool. Yeah, yeah, I hope we get to explore in person. All the best.